Yeah, one one seven three Tyagarajar College. Uh, my question is on uh, assessment of creative questions. Uh, in the uh, peer review assessment uh, for the learning objective objective five, the content is zero while the cognitive level is two. How can it happen? Okay, so you are referring to the question paper assignment that you have done, right? Okay, the content match is not satisfactory and uh, the learning objective match is uh, same or uh, exemplary. Uh, so for all the participants, this question is about an assignment where you had done peer assessment of question paper created by uh, your peer on the same domain. So apparently there is a situation wherein the content match was not there or the content match score was zero but there is a learning objective perfect learning objective match which is exemplary two so am i right in the question yes that, that is point number one do look at the peer who has done this assessment it is never possible that you will have a content match as zero and learning objective as exemplary so, a content match can be exemplary and learning objective can be a complete mismatch. So, uh, I would uh, just post this particular question in the forum uh, where you have uh, the strengthening community forum with specific example. The question, the learning objective and the topic. Uh, we will respond back to you in the Moodle forum. So, if you ask me uh, on one on one it is not possible to have a complete uh, content mismatch but a learning objective match so it may be possible that the person who has assessed he or she would have uh, looked at the learning objective level of the uh, the module and it would have been a create level or a evaluate level and the question that was asked is a create level or a evaluate level for a different topics this is not so the as per the assignment you never put assessment questions out of topic. So, this particular scenario will happen only if you put assessment questions out of topic at the same learning objective level. So, as far as assessment is concerned, this should never have happened. Yeah, Knowledge Institute of Technology. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Sir, my, uh, our question is, um, since you have uh, given an assignments to the participants uh, through Moodle link. Mm. Similar fashion, uh, is it possible to give assignments to students from faculty side by using Wikispace uh, so that students can uh, do their assignments and post it on the Wikispace. As a faculty, we can able to evaluate it and also we can make ensure that whether students are doing the assignments on right time and submitting to us. And also we can able to grade the assignments. Is it possible in Wikispace? Okay, so this specific question is about the use of wiki spaces as a tool for uh, giving assignments. Uh, so people who have actually registered for wiki spaces, uh, the answer first of all is yes, uh, but you will have to use a specific feature called classroom, where the wiki space is used as a classroom, uh, it is equivalent to a classroom where you post assessments, assessment questions, make students answer it. But it is completely beyond the scope of this workshop to deal more in detail. Uh, but yes, wiki spaces can be used for uh, posting assessment questions and evaluating your students. I would like to add one more uh, broader point here. One of the goals of this workshop is for you to become familiar with several tools. So we might just be able to provide a small amount of familiarity with tools, but then it's completely up to you and your goals as well as your creativity as to how you use them as teachers. So if you choose to take some feature of the tool that we haven't discussed and in fact use it with your own students, in, that's in, in something really nice because, and then you can share it with the rest of the community, ET for ET community on how you did that. So one of our goals is to first get you familiar as a learner and then just let loose your creativity and uh, feel free to use, to push the boundaries. There are people who have used wikis for uh, assessment and some extra features of the tool might be needed and I'm sure that's something you can learn on your own. Uh, Rangasamy College of Technology, please go ahead. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. After locking in the wiki spaces, to go to our wiki page, so we have to search and find. 
is there any link for our wiki page from our wiki space after locking it okay uh, so the question is you have to search for your wiki page after logging, in. logging into the wiki spaces so the quick answer is make sure you note the page name so typically if if it is an rc that is why we have given simple page names so if your rc your rc is 1313 so the moment you type wiki for trial dot wiki spaces dot com slash rc 1313 you should go to your page that is the simplest way of so if you have adhered to all the nomenclature then it is your wiki wiki uh, web page slash your rc id which gives your rc home page good evening sir good evening so this is a question about today's assignment uh, regarding a wiki page group creation sir we have the doubt whether the group can be created with uh, the pair activity done those people we have done with pair activity the three peoples or some other else how to create the group so group can be the pairs also so as a group then you will have to each of you have to do an assessment that is all so you can take the pairs that you have already have within the domain this is to just to ensure that the people get relevant domains and not anything else so you can use the same groups that you already have so rc double one double seven sir in wiki space we were able to insert or delete a row in a table our doubt is how to merge two columns in a table okay uh, so uh, let me just give you a quick uh, answer to this you will not be able to merge two tables or uh, two rows or two columns with the current functionality you can just add on tables and add on columns so it is not your uh, what do you say word editor per se it is a typical what what you see what you get editor you can just put up tables that is why the examples that we have are for simple tables no merging, no uh, what do you say, uh, crossover or other things like that. So, uh, a typical uh, wiki questions, just have a look at help.wikispaces.com. This particular link is noted in the uh, home page right at the bottom. Uh, click this link if you want to have more instructions on editing the page. So, the web link is help.wikispaces.com. You will get how to edit wiki or various operations within the wiki this is also this page is actually linked from the wiki for trial home page go down if you need additional help please click this button so there is a specific instruction on that click on the help link to learn more about how to use your wiki ebt group good evening sir the yeah, question please. is about uh, how to improve the students' uh, writing skills. Yeah, sir. Our college is located in a uh, very rural area. And also, they studied in different uh, mediums. I studied in the English. How to improve the writing uh, skills uh, uh, exam? Okay, so the question is how to improve students' writing skills. And this is actually a very interesting, but again, one of those challenging questions. In uh, one of the early Q&A sessions, I think on day one or day two, there was a whole lot of questions and discussion on how to improve students' communication. And is there something that ICT can help with? So again, there is no one right answer or one, a single good answer here. But I'll just share with you some practices that people follow that have been known to help. The, if you want to improve students' writing skills, one thing is that you have to give them practice in writing and then feedback on what they write. So again, this, is, this might seem very labor intensive for, a, for an engineering teacher. And some engineering college instructors might say that this is not our jobs. But at some level, it is. Because to become good engineers, we also want our students to communicate well. So a couple of things you can do is to actually give them opportunity to present let's say either their projects or give them a challenging assignment like a problem, a complex problem, and ask them questions where you actually make them write instead of simply writing numerical answers. 
Now, as to how to assess, this is where peer assessment and rubrics have an important role to play. You can form your own rubrics for writing, or you can find rubrics for improving writing and for effective communication, and have students do self-assessment and peer assessment that will help them reflect on what they did was right or wrong. So this morning also we mentioned a lot about reflection and higher order complex tasks like writing do require students to A, understand what they did right and what they did wrong. Rubrics are one choice and then give them opportunities to improve. The second thing is about the medium itself. And what we are finding out from research studies, our own research studies as well as others, is that you don't need to translate everything into the local language. But it turns out that what students prefer, because they also want to learn and improve their English, is uh, you can use ICT tools like videos, for example, video learning materials, with a few keywords translated in the local language. That has been found to be fairly effective in terms of uh, getting students to understand uh, English from the videos. So a combination of giving them practice and reflection and then some hints through ICT tools is uh, some suggestions. Again, this is a question that we can post on Moodle and, and anybody else who has um, experience in this is welcome to share their answers on Moodle. Yeah, Oriental College. Hello, good evening sir, this is Sunil Tripathi. Sir, can we ap append in widget, like support I want to append a compiler in widget, so can I run any program with, with the help of that? So, if uh, append the widget for wiki spaces, yes you can as long as the site allows you to. So, if you want to add news, uh, so there is a site's policy, you will have to read through it and then add the widget in that. That is all. Sir, uh, can discussion forum can be used as a TPS activity in wiki? Yes, definitely yes. So, this is an innovative use of a specific existing functionality of the tool. Uh, though it came late, let us highlight this question. So the uh, question from uh, Oriental College is, can we use discussion forums in Wiki or Moodle, right? Oriental College? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, even, even in a Wiki, can we use discussion forums for a TPS? Yes, the answer is yes, but you will have to carefully design your activity such that there is a explicit think phase, there is an explicit pair phase and an explicit share phase. So ideally we would recommend it be used in pair and share, but even individual think can be posted and others can look at the discussion posts and uh, then understand what happened for that particular think idea. Okay sir, we have already uh, tried this today and uh, the response is very good. Okay, that is really uh, good to hear. Uh, this is again f a broadcast to all participants. So if you want to try something innovative by combining two techniques that you learnt here. So let us say you learnt one new instructional strategy that we did or we suggest for a face to face classroom and you choose to do it with a certain tool or technology, uh, do try it. And on day 6, which is day after tomorrow, we will have an entire session on how you can measure success and effectiveness of these techniques and uh, what kind of uh, questionnaires or surveys you can give your students, how to actually determine in a scientific fashion whether what you tried works or not. So we will do an entire session in the morning on day 6 on research methods in educational technology where we want ideas like this to be implemented. So hold on to these ideas and for uh, everybody else also try to think of some of these interesting innovative ideas that you can try in class beyond saying that I'm going to use Moodle. So something interesting on how you can use Moodle for uh, improving students learning and then we'll discuss how you can perform a research study uh, based on it. Yeah, 1301. The question is like, uh, is it possible to have an assessment strategy uh, targeting higher cognitive levels when our learning objectives are already mapped for uh, lower cognitive levels? This is somewhat similar to the question asked by Tyagarajar College. So basically the thing is that you have some existing learning objectives and some contents. You have mapped lower order uh, learning objectives for the content. So specifically 1301 wants 
higher order learning objectives to be asked for the same content. Uh, I would say you are doing injustice to the student because you have told them that you will only look at learning objectives at lower level and in the assessment you are actually looking at higher levels. So, this is not what you should do when you explicitly say learning objectives because these are measurable performance expected from students. So, the difference that this question has to the earlier question that Tyagarajar college posted was in the case of Tyagarajar college the content was different. So, there were no mapping between content that is actually taught and the content uh, which has come in the exam. So, again you are not doing justice to the student because you are asking them to perform at a level which was never stated before. So, you have to be really upfront about what you want to measure on what you will measure and what contents you are going to measure. Okay, so, School of Management Sciences. Sir, one part of my question has been already answered. I am left with one more point. Is it necessary to have a join code for creating groups on Wikispace? And if yes, who will provide the join code? Okay, uh, joining code for groups, uh, this is a separate activity. Uh, we will provide you with uh, the links or the permissions and procedures at the end of the workshop. This is a course portfolio assignment. The remote center coordinator who have already joined will be given the links. For remote center coordinators who have not joined yet, we will provide them joining links and also instructions on to join uh, instructions to make groups or uh, add more participants to the uh, main repository. Kurukshetra University. Question regarding online classroom tools like uh, AVU and WebEx, uh, we have uh, till now we have not exposed to these tools uh, for online classes like desktop sharing and when uh, uh, we can interact uh, our listeners. We have not uh, exposed to that type of tools till now. Okay, uh, so a quick uh, answer to this. At this moment, we are looking at basic classroom practices, face to face instruction or a lab instruction. Uh, maybe in future we might think of online classrooms, but at present the scope is limited to face to face classrooms which is more prevalent across all the engineering colleges in India. Yeah, so with that let us uh, come to an end to today's Q&A session.